So we finally drove 13 hours to the lake and I hooked up my 3D printed fishing lure. And on the first cast, my uncle completely snagged me. It's gonna be a good day. But anyway, 3D printers have gotten pretty advanced in the last few years. Mainly these resin printers have gotten very popular. I've seen a few videos of people using FDM printers, that is filament based printers that use plastic on a spool to print things. Basically I've seen people try and print fishing lures with these things and they've gotten some good results. But in this video I wanted to test out resin printers and see if they were good at 3D printing fishing lures. I started off by trying to print a spinner, you know your average spinner that has a skirt and a spinner on the top. This ended up turning out very flimsy and the hard plastic skirt is definitely no substitute for the soft plastic skirt on the spinner. The next thing I tried printing was a Mimic Minnow. In my experience the Mimic Minnow is one of the best fishing lures on the market. It's a simple design and it basically just looks like a minnow flapping its tail. When designing this lure I basically just referenced a profile of a minnow and then created a cavity for the hook to be glued in. The extreme accuracy of my Elgu Mars allowed me to glue the hook in really easily. This worked extremely well and it was super sturdy and the jointed tail had really 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 good action this is definitely my favorite lure out of them all it it looks like a minnow swimming through the water the next thing i wanted to print was this spoon it's a classic and simple design but harder to model than you would think just because it's an organic shape the main hurdle i had to solve in this design was the weight since we're printing with plastic, I needed to add these ball bearings to weigh it down. Once I figured that out, the action was amazing. Although I wish I would have used heavier ball bearings like tungsten or lead. I think I just used copper ball bearings from a BB gun or something like that. So I decided to make the same mistake twice in a row. That mistake was using hard plastic in place of soft plastic. I thought I could get away with making a jointed design to mimic what a soft plastic worm looks like. In all honesty, I'd say this approach is more trouble than it's worth. And even with the highest quality work you're not going to get the same action as a soft plastic lure you basically just open yourself up to a lot of failure points in the lure that being said it does look close to a soft plastic type lure but it's flimsy and a pain in the ass decided to make the same mistake three times in a row go for a crawdad type lure since i was going to test these lures out on a bass lake i thought it'd be a good idea to try and make a crawdad this design has the same flaws as the worm design basically just chasing the look of soft plastic and opening yourself up for a lot of design failures with all four of these lures designed it was time to take them out to the lake and see if i could actually catch a fish with a 3d printed lure I started off fishing with the crawl lure. The lure was heavy and sank to the bottom nicely and I imagine it added some decent action. The only problem was I wasn't really used to fishing with crawdad lures and I think this would have worked better if the bass were in their spawning beds. I ended up getting quite a few casts, maybe 45 minutes of casting before the lure eventually failed and lost one of its claws. Next up was this monstrosity of a spinner lure. In all honesty I didn't fish this one much because I didn't think it had a very good chance of landing a fish. The action was pretty decent and the colors were really nice. The only thing was the lure was very flimsy so I didn't think it could stand up even if I did get a bite on it. Next on the list we have the spoon. Honestly one of the better lures but it still had its flaws. The major problem was its weight. I had to add two extra split shots just to get it to sink and even after adding them it wouldn't sink to the proper level. I think if you add tungsten or lead ball bearings instead of the copper ones I added you have a perfectly viable lure. The next two lures are the ones that I fished the absolute shit out of so we'll get into those now. I fished the worm in about every possible way you could fish a soft plastic worm and I still got skunked using it. I don't think this is because of the action of the worm or its color or anything. It honestly looked really good. The main issue I think I was running into was that the only bites that we were getting were on live bait. Also there was a fishing tournament the week before with about 2,000 boats and the locals were telling us the fish had seen about every possible lure you could throw at them. So I think this was basically out of my control. That is a stupid excuse but the lure did have pretty good action and it looked like a soft plastic lure. So I'm not really sure what to tell you. The last lure I threw was definitely by far my favorite lure and I'm extremely confident that you could catch a fish with this thing on almost any lake. I mean look at the action on this thing. It's crazy. It looks like a freaking minnow. Like and I would have caught a fish with it if not for one design flaw. The tail joint that I used was extremely small. The tails ended up falling off after about 20 casts. So unfortunately I did not catch one single fish with my 3D printed lures. So does that mean 3D printed fishing lures don't work? Not necessarily. 
On this fishing trip, the only thing we caught fish on was live bait, so I don't think the case is quite closed yet. So at the end here, I just want to summarize my thoughts after printing a bunch of fishing lures with resin. The first thing is don't try to mimic soft plastic with hard plastic. Secondly, you should avoid small joints as they fail after prolonged use. Third, making a cavity for a hook and gluing it inside worked extremely well and it was very sturdy. So I think 3D printing lures with resin works best with crankbaits and spoons. And you should use the 3D printing as the cosmetics and then glue the metal inside of the plastic. You can even add small details like scales to the outside and add pigment to your resin to get literally whatever color you want. That's it from me.